Greetings viewers, wanted to do a update video regarding the Nexus 5 and uh, the auto root method that I'd shown a couple of weeks ago. If you have a Nexus 5 and you were rooted using this method that I showed and you took the over the air update which updated you to 4.4.3, some people have had this issue where their phone after the upgrade uh, is no longer able to give apps root access. So basically you lose root access. I went ahead and did it. And like other people posted, I did lose root. One of the key things is that I did not lose bootloader being unlocked. And so the bootloader being unlocked, to me, in my opinion, is the bigger thing because that completely wipes your phone. So I'm going to go ahead and show you on my phone that I do still have my bootloader unlocked. And the way I, I regained root was I basically just went through the CF auto root method again, which I'll put a link to this original video in the description. I'll put an annotation on the screen somewhere for it as well. Uh, pretty much you just run this method again It skips the bootloader part because that's already done and then it just goes through the process of Giving you root so basically when you boot the phone back up you still won't have the super su file But you just go ahead and go to the play store and install it and then It'll install and you'll have root access again. So I'm gonna go ahead and go over to my phone here All right, so we got the phone on screen It's a little smudged apologize for that and to go into the uh, fast boot, hold down the volume down and press the power button. Let's see if I can zoom in here. So you see, lock state is unlocked. I checked this before rerunning CF Auto Root, but after doing the update, and I still had the unlocked lock state. So again, to get into fast boot mode, it's just volume down and then the power button at the same time. So let's go ahead and zoom back out. And I'm going to just go ahead and hit start. Let the phone boot up. You see it's got the little unlocked icon down there. Alright, so the phone's booted back up. And I'll go to my app drawer. So Super SU, it works. My apps have root access. And like I said, I just went to the Play Store to install that. Go ahead and select down here. Scroll down, let's go to about phone. You see, yes, it's 4.4.3, and I do have root again, so. So I hope this uh, video has been useful. Um, go out there, get that update if you want it. If you've had that notification in your uh, notification tray and have been a little scared to get it because you don't want to lose your root, you'll lose root, but it's pretty pretty easy to get it back. Um, I'll put a link, like I said, I'll put a link to the original instructions down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for me, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and Instagram. So until next time, good luck rooting your phone, and uh, let me know how it works out. Take care.